Shannon Cook. doing tonight? What's up? I'm noticing a lot of beards happening in here. Hey. Yeah. Making a comeback. It's a good look, but I feel like there's something a little inherently deceptive about them. Like, what happens if you start dating a guy with a beard and like a year deep, he shaves it off and it's like, ooh, I hate your face. Yeah. <laughs> and not just that. I mean, there could be anything lurking under there. It could be mouth herpes or worse, an Enrique mole. <laughs> But on top of that, it's like, I just feel like beards at this point are society's ultimate fuck you to women. It's like, hey ladies, how about you rip all your vagina hair out by the root and then just sit on this fucking Brillo pad? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the labia exfoliation, fuckers. It's like a free spa treatment. And uh, speaking of squeaky clean labia, anybody here watch porn? Yeah. Bring it back for you guys. I know you asked for it. Um, I don't like porn as much as the next girl. I just wish that the tags and descriptions on them were a little bit more honest and thorough. Because you know what's a day ruiner? Unexpected fisting. <laughs> Every time you think shit is just progressing naturally, then blow, elbow deep, and now it's like, I just can't trust you, Pornhub. <laughs> it's like I don't even know you. And does this even happen in real life, ladies? Like, have you ever just been snuggled up on the couch with your man, he brings you over a glass of wine, and he's like, hey babe, you wanna try fisting tonight? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Three fingers max, ladies, keep it classy. <laughs> it's really hard to meet new people, especially for me, I think, because I don't really do clubs, because I don't dance, or rather, I shouldn't dance. <laughs> If I get enough to drink, I'll get out there like Brittany Acton Breakdown, no lie. But, uh, <laughs> don't, I, I'll drop it like a tot. I'm not joking. There's just no guarantee that I'll pick it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> and I make it harder on myself, too. Because when I do go out there, I always insist on surrounding myself with all these itty-bitty gorgeous girls. They always have names like Bree and Kayla. And this is a huge mistake on my part. Because if Blake decides that you're the girl version of Seth Rogen, Stop hanging out with fucking James Franco. <laughs> True story. You go find yourself a female Jonah Hill to stand next to. <laughs> and um, it gets easier and easier to settle as you get older, I find. I'm going to be 30 soon, like in a week. Yeah. Fuck you very much. And um, at this point, I'm just shoplifting for pat down. You know, desperation's starting to take hold. I don't even get tension headaches anymore. I get sexual tension headaches. <laughs> and I'm kind of crunchy, you know? Like, I'm not the type to take Advil or Tylenol. I take roofies for them. <laughs> no, don't laugh. It works. I take a roofie as soon as my head starts to hurt, and when I wake up, the only thing that hurts is my asshole. So you know what? It's a trade-off. Like most things in life. <laughs> I actually, um, I was at a bar recently and I had a guy send me a drink with the message, I want to fuck you like a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be disgusted by this myself, but um, most of me was like, I kind of want to find out what that means. <laughs> and I did. At this point, if I go on a date and I don't wake up the next morning in a bathtub full of ice missing a kidney, that date went well. <laughs> and even if I did, he was nice enough to leave me in a nice bath with one fully functional kidney. So you know what? I hope he calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. That's my time. Thank you so much.